Hi, this is Dr. Osborne with the Gluten-Free Society and drpeterosborne.com in today's nutritional update. I want to talk about vitamin C. This is one of the most important nutrients as it relates to human health and wellness. And vitamin C has so many different critical functions. It's, it's, um, I like to consider or look at vitamin C almost like we would think about duct tape, right? Human duct tape, because it can do everything. It can do a little bit of everything. We call it the jack of all trades. But there are certain functions with vitamin C that you want to be aware of uh, because it's very easy to become deficient in vitamin C in today's world. That A lot of our foods don't contain adequate vitamin C. Most people don't eat enough fresh, fresh fruits and vegetables, which is where your vitamin C is predominantly going to come from. And uh, a lot of the foods that are fortified with vitamin C, are, they're, they're not really complete sources of vitamin C, and oftentimes they're pre-oxidized, so the vitamin C in those foods is not all that beneficial. So let's talk about some of the functions of vitamin C so that you can understand why it might be important uh, for you to ensure adequate dietary intake. Number one, if you're gluten sensitive, you can see up at the top here, vitamin C helps to um, reduce gluten-induced inflammation. There have been a number of studies that show that vitamin C is responsible for helping people with celiac disease heal their guts after years of gluten-induced exposure. There actually have been some studies that show that the gut won't heal without vitamin C. So vitamin C critical in that regard. Number two, helps with liver detoxification. Vitamin C helps your liver regenerate glutathione, which is the master detoxification protein in your liver. So it helps kind of your liver take out the garbage, so to speak. Remember the way detoxification works is we're all exposed to chemicals and compounds that can be dangerous. That's not the issue. The issue is does the liver have the ability to take those compounds and convert them into something that the kidneys can then filter out. So the liver usually takes toxic compounds, which are fat soluble, makes them water soluble so that then they can be excreted through sweat or they can be excreted through urine output through the kidney. And vitamin C helps the liver to do that. So very, very critical. Now, if you're taking, for example, medicine like an Advil um, or a not so much Advil, but Tylenol, uh, acetaminophen, um, understand that that particular medication can actually create glutathione problems in the liver and it can put more tax and stress on your vitamin C status. So if you've suffered with chronic pain and you're a heavy uh, heavy Tylenol user, vitamin C might be a good thing for you to supplement with. Let's go to number three, antioxidants. Vitamin C is one of the most potent antioxidant. It protects cells from damage. Basically, the way I like to look at this is, you know, you hear the term anti-aging and really there's no such thing as anti-aging, but there is graceful aging. And so if your body has a, a good ratio of antioxidants and an adequate level of antioxidants, then your cells won't age prematurely. And that's what vitamin C does. It helps preserve the integrity of your genetic code of your DNA within your cells so that they don't age too quickly. Number four, vitamin C promotes adrenal health. Vitamin C, that if we look at all the organs in the body, we find more vitamin C concentration in the adrenal glands than any other tissue. It's because you need vitamin C to produce cortisol. Remember what cortisol is. It's the body's natural fire truck. It's the hormone the body uses to fight inflammation, and you can't make it without vitamin C. So very, very important function. Number five, it boosts. Vitamin C boosts nitrous oxide. And uh, what this is, this was actually, this won a Nobel Prize. Nitrous oxide was discovered to create the vasodilation or the opening of your blood vessel so it prevents things like high blood pressure and it helps to reduce the risk of things like stroke and cardiovascular disease. For men, it helps make sure they have plenty of blood flow so that you can maintain your, your sexual vigor. So nitrous oxide, very, very critical nutrient or very, very critical compound that needs vitamin C for its production. Okay, next one. Number six, necessary for the repair of body tissue. Vitamin C forms... The, there are little linkages between your collagen tissue. And many of you may take a collagen supplement because it's good for your skin, it's good for your joints, good for your bones, etc. because a lot of your tissues are made from collagen. But did you know that vitamin C helps make that collagen elastic? There are little cross ladder links in between your collagen fibers that are formed by vitamin C. And so if you get an injury, if you have a bruise or damage and you're vitamin C deficient, you, you won't repair that collagen as efficiently. 
Uh, so if you're an easy bruiser, if your gums bleed, that's one of those or those two things are kind of hallmark symptoms of vitamin C, early vitamin C deficiency. All right, number seven, regulates neurotransmitter production. Vitamin C works as a coenzyme. What does that mean? It works as um, a car key, if you will, to the engines that help produce your your neurotransmitters. So what are the, what is a neurotransmitter? We're talking about dopamine here. Dopamine is a is the happy neurotransmitter. We also need vitamin C to produce serotonin. We also need vitamin C to produce what are called the catecholamines. These are the neurotransmitters like adrenaline and noradrenaline. So you need vitamin C in order to properly regulate the production of those chemicals. Very, very important for that. Number eight, vitamin C is a natural heavy metal reducer. It's a natural chelator. So it reduces the accumulation of heavy metals in the body. So, you know, whether you're exposed to lead or mercury or cadmium or whatever it might be, uh, a good source of vitamin C in your diet helps your body from accumulating those metals over time and, and those allowing those metals to lead to damage. So again, vitamin C natural chelator. And then number nine, vitamin C protects from and destroys cancer cells. It's one of the body's most potent cancer weapons. So if you've ever been diagnosed with cancer or you're just trying to be preventative, vitamin C is an excellent, excellent tool in your supplemental arsenal to maintain your health and help your body prevent a number of these different types of problems, especially as it relates to cancer. So those are nine very critical functions of vitamin C. Make sure you subscribe to the channel Hit the bell button below. Make sure you get our updates. And go visit me over at glutenfreesociety.org and sign up uh, for our newsletter there where we'll be sending you great information on living a healthy, gluten-free lifestyle. This is Dr. Osborne. Have a great day.